Welcome back guys to another episode of Decentralized Chain is for Oz, bringing you the latest news, reviews and blockchain tech. So if it's your first time here, don't forget to hit that subscribe button below. And if you are a returning visitor, welcome back. Glad to have you. Now, in today's episode, I'm going to be looking at Quark Chain. It's been about eight to 10 months since I last spoke with a CEO and there should be a link up here if you want to see how those conversations went. However, in just a little over a month, they are going to be ready to showcase their mainnet Singularity version 1.0. Now, it's been in development for the better part of a year and really it aims to finish what Ethereum 2.0 plans to achieve ahead of its time. And it aims also or claims, should I say, to be the world's first blockchain project that fully implements state sharding. So kudos if they can deliver and do that at the same time. So the countdown's on, you know, in just over a little over a month, we'll see exactly what's going to be brought to the masses. Now, since the hash power will be limited at the early stages of the quark chain mainnet, they have introduced the Guardian plan to provide hash power protection where is it? Here we are on their Reddit. So to provide hash power protection for the mainnet, along with mining rewards distributed to candidates of that plan or the Guardian plan. Now, what they're doing here is that they're taking a simplified version of their proof of work and proof of stake combined consensus algorithm and implementing that for the root chain initially. Now, on one hand, Quark Chain mainnet is about to go live. But then on the other hand, since the hash power is limited, at the early stages of Quark Chain's mainnet, there is still a risk or a potential risk of hash power attacks. And this is what this plan um, is in place to do, certainly for the early stages, to provide a bit of support against that. Now, within the plan, there are two types of roles. There is the Aegis role. Um, and within the Aegis role itself, that's going to be selected by members of the Quark Chain team. And then if we have a look, we've got the second role, which is the Elf Guardian. And this is purely dictated or decided by the community. They vote those guardians or participants in. Now, to become uh, an, uh, an Aegis Guardian, basically the first role that, we, that I spoke about, ultimately, you're going to need to have 10 million Quark Chain staked. Um, as well as being an evangelist and, you know, a visionary for the ecosystem. Now, this is a significantly large amount of tokens and certainly most probably not within the reach of your common investor. However, the second option, which is the Elf Guardian, to become one, the community, like I said before, just needs to vote you in. Now, you might be thinking, well, what's the point of all this? Well, it's, it's twofold. As a voter, you'll get 10% annualized returns for your contributions to the ecosystem. And as a Guardian each year, 40 million Quark Chain tokens will be rewarded to the Guardians and their voters so that's always a here we are that's that's always a plus as well so there you kind of got your incentive as to why you would want to stake and vote basically and also run to be a candidate now you have to receive at least 1 million votes um, and be in the top 50 ranked candidates in order to actually be eligible for that second drop of the 40 million that I was talking about. But also the good thing that I like about the way they do the voting here is that it stops a monopolization in a way. Um, it really ensures that there's a fair chance for everyone to participate because you need to be re-elected every two months by the community. So it does mean that you need to show your support in driving awareness uh, for Quark Chain, but also you then need to promote yourself as part of that so people know. But so it kind of comes in hand in hand if you're supporting it, and people will know exactly who is actually supporting it and see the value that they're providing behind the ecosystem as well. And at the same time, you know, it's going to create some friendly competition amongst the candidates as well. Now, here you can see the allocation itself let's scroll down a bit on the page here we are so rewards calculations allocations right so you can see that the allocation rewards is split by the pool rankings so ultimately it's the reward for the pool and you multiply that by the portion of votes you've received and then you divide that by the number of elections held within a year which is basically six as it's every two months within a year now from the example that they've got within the reddit page what we have here basically is say for example that you've been um, a candidate and you've been elected and it's for the diamond tier so the reward for that is eight million quark chain and say 
from that tier, you've received 40% of the votes in the ranking range. Okay, so then what then happens is you basically divide that by six, and then you're left with the earning, which is 533,333 quart chain. Now, as I said before, you might be thinking, well, I'm only getting my 10% analyzer for voting, so the real winner is the Guardian. Wrong, the real winner are both of you, because here what we can see is a portion of this actually goes back to the voters. So they call this the rebate, which they've mentioned further down, further down here under the, here we are, yep, so you get quark chain rewards. And so there's the sort of rebate calculation that goes into place as well. And so therefore you also get a portion um, of the Elf Guardian's rewards as well. So you kind of, you, you, you double up your earnings in to say to speak because you get earnings for voting anyway but also if your candidate is selected to be one of the guardians and they get rewarded then you also get a portion of their rewards as well um, i'll have all my links in the description below so make sure to check it out because they go into a lot of detail and i just kind of want to skim it for you to kind of have a rough idea of exactly what you expect now one of the other things to sort of bear in mind also is that during the first term there are double rewards um, and obviously early birds get additional voting uh, voting preferences as well. So you kind of start accumulating that leading up to the actual mainnet launch. And so really hopefully this is just giving you a gist of what to expect, what the quark chain sort of staking mechanism will be and exactly what do you get out of it in terms of supporting the project, in terms of being a community member. But once again, all the descriptions uh, below will contain all the links that you need in order to find out a bit more about this. Now, I mainly made this video as I noticed a number of community members asking how to vote because you need to stake your tokens in order to do that. And if you've still got them stuck in your standard ERC20 token, then you need to understand how you can move that around uh, into the actual staking pot. And this is really the purpose of this video is just to give you the options that are available, which is either through the official Q Pocket wallet that they've got, um, or you could do it via MetaMask. And it can be daunting. It's certainly daunting for me when I was transferring tokens the first time round for, for other cryptos, not just Quark Chain in general. So I'm going to create a quick video. Um, and what I'll do is I'll just take you through both the options so you kind of know what to do when you kind of get to that point when you're ready to vote or stake your tokens in order to either get the rewards or, you know, get those elected to get additional rewards from that. So first of all, we're going to start with the Q Pocket. And so for Q Pocket, what you need to do is head over to the Quark Chain website. So when you actually get to the main page, you've got QPocket 3.0. Um, it comes for iOS and Android because I've got an Apple phone. We'll just do this. I'll just go through the process for what it is on iOS, but Android shouldn't be any different really. So you go ahead and click on iOS. That'll come up with a QR code. So you go ahead and scan the QR code. And so once you've done that, you go ahead and open it up, click download. And that should then start installing the application for you on your phone. Now, once that happens, what you then need to do is, I'm just gonna wait for it to download quickly. Um, so yep, nearly done, nearly done, nearly done, almost there. So it's installing that. Now, once it's installed on an iOS device, you need to accept the developer settings for it because it is, um, it's not directly from the iTunes account itself. So you go down and you scroll down to general and then it's device management and then you, oh, I don't know why that's come in, but anyway, you can ignore that. You go ahead under enterprise apps, um, uh, select the one that you see there, trust it, trust that, and then that will then open up the wallet so you can actually go ahead and use that, which if you scroll down, you'll see it right here and then you open up the actual wallet itself. Now, once you're in the wallet, you need to then go ahead and create it. Once you've created your wallet and loaded it up with Quark Chain, and you need a minimum of 100 in order to actually um, take part in the voting. So one thing is always good to know is when you click on the top bit, always make sure you're selecting Ether because at the moment it's an ERC20 token. Um, and then, so here you can see I've got a balance of 100. Then you go back to the actual DAP screen, and then what you'll see on the um, actual carousel on the on the home page of the screen uh, is the Quark Chain Guardian Plan. So you go ahead and click on the Guardian Plan. 
and then it has the countdown for the early bird voting so it kind of tells you that you can earn additional votes by staking early and then here what you then need to do is go ahead and um, obviously select the amount of quark chain that you want to vote with i've only got 100 in this wallet so that's where we're going to go and then you select the duration whether it's two four or six um, and what you'll see is as you go up if you select four for example um, then you know you you'll get 104 plus four extra votes um, back as well so these are the sort of rewards uh, that kind of uh, roll into it so if we kind of put these down for two months each and then all you then need to do is go ahead and click on step one authorize i've got it linked up to my face id so it will ask you to confirm it so you'll then go ahead and submit the transaction so go ahead and submit it transaction sent and then once that's done it will go ahead and confirm everything we'll have to confirm it twice so that will come through so click submit and then the transaction should be sent and then you'll get your confirmation that they're staked so then you go ahead and click ok and then if you scroll down to the bottom of the page what you'll then have is the duration for your staking um, when the actual due date is so it'll be two months from now and then at that point that's when you'll be able to actually withdraw it so you'd click withdraw at the time and that's pretty much straightforward that's exactly how you go ahead and do the actual staking and voting from your queue pocket now what we'll do is jump in and i'll show you how it works from metamask for those who prefer to use metamask as their standard way of doing transactions now in order to do the voting via metamask very similar process to queue pocket what we do is we head over and we visit the Guardian Plan website. So it's in the details are in the Reddit page. So you click on it. That will then take you to the screen and it will already recognize that you have MetaMask installed. So it will ask you to log in. And so all you then do is what you'll notice if you have a look at the very top, you'll get the MetaMask notification that comes up. So you click on that. And what an effect that does is you need to log in to MetaMask. So once you've logged into the site itself, this will then ask you to connect. Now you can't see that behind me, but if I actually just make me just a little bit smaller and get me out of the way, there we are. What you'll see is that you've got the connect button here. So what you do is go ahead and you connect and this gives the Quark Chain Guardian Plan access to your MetaMask wallet. So you're connecting the two together. It recognizes that and make sure you've got your Quark Chain loaded up and a bit of extra ether in order to fuel the transaction. And then similar to before, you go ahead, you select how many Quark Chains you want to stake, which obviously amounts to the number of votes that you're making as well. Select the duration, you click step one out of two and authorize. So you go ahead and you click authorize. This will then come up with another notification asking you to go ahead and confirm the actual transaction that you want to go ahead and make. And so you can readjust your gas fees if you want. You click confirm, that will go ahead and go into a pending state and wait for it to be approved and so once that happens a second confirmation comes through uh, for the validation and then we'll just wait for that to happen and then afterwards what will happen is once that's done you'll get uh, the confirmation on the page that it's been successfully staked you click ok and if you scroll down to the bottom of the page what you'll then see is the amounts that you staked and for the duration so obviously i already hold um, a number of uh, quark chains and I've kind of already put myself in for the voting for that but as you can see the one that we've just done has just then uh, has has then just updated and so once the duration is passed then you'll be able to withdraw so you can't withdraw before that and that's it and that's how you go ahead and stake and vote uh, within the guardian plan enjoy guys and I'll see you soon